I spent three years selling on Amazon FBA and doing retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. And in this video, you will find out is it worth doing it in 2024? Is it still worth, I say, your side hustle? Let's find out. If you don't know me, my name is Francis. Welcome back. In this channel, I will share my business journey, particularly on Amazon FBA. If you want to learn about side hustle and how to make extra income, you can subscribe and like this video. And I will tell you the conclusion right out front, which is that it is worth it because it doesn't take a lot of time, but it will take a little bit of effort and stuff like that. So it would definitely worth it. Let's get into the first point, which is if you wanted to run a successful Amazon FBA side business or retail arbitrage and online arbitrage, you need to always have lead coming into your way. The most common way for most of the beginner when they're doing retail arbitrage or online arbitrage or Amazon FBA is that they are going to the big box store at Walmart, obviously going to some clearance section or going to Costco and that's all fine. And when I was starting out, I was doing this too, but it spent a lot of time to find only one or two lead when you don't have a lot of money, that's all fine. So that's why when I was starting out, I spent a weekend, five or six hours on a Walmart and for two days and probably 10 hours on the weekend, I was just scanning all the items that I can find. I need to get the feelings of what kind of brand that would sell. If I could start all over again, I would kind of see what's the popular brand that Amazon FBA seller sell. So maybe like Melissa and Doug and the Alex toy, Lego, all those kind of thing. I would talk about how to engage at the in the later point. So watch it till the end. So it's all gonna be fine, but like if you don't have a lot of money, you spend a little bit more time to get more lead, that's okay, you get your game dirty. I think it's all really good way to, to get started. Even in, in 2024, after three years, I still go to the retail store. If my wife to go to the Walmart, I still scan some of the items, it seems like hot toys, some interesting toy. I would go still scan it, and my wife while shopping it. I won't put a lot of time if you are like a very mature player, but if you're a beginner, I think it's like, it's a legit way to say that as a lot of people could have a access to Walmart so it's a very good way to get started. Point number two is if I don't have enough money at the beginning or if a lot of money that is actually locked in the inventory even I'm an experienced player either I would borrow more money which I talk about later in this video or I would go to the thrift store like Value Village to get some of the inventory because if you know about Value Village a lot of people donate DVD a lot of people donate books those are the things that would be in run of our production because we have a lot of books that and produce and would be a run of a print and they only have the one print, second print and third print. So some of the book that would be completely out of the market but it's very valuable and you can see some of the news that people, oh, okay fine, it's a photograph kind of book that would sell for a million of dollars. I don't think that we're looking for this but if you are looking for books, you probably stand within a million or a hundred thousand in American market. So it's a very good way. You can buy it for like two or three dollar, maybe even five, six dollar and you don't even care. That's a very good way if you're a beginner to do it like this or if you are a like medium term player you don't want to risk to putting a lot of money into it you can like instead of buying one lego set for like $200 or like $60 you can bet six seven or ten books like that you can even go to garage sale uh, to get some of the books and stuff like that I think it's a very good idea and the third point with that you have to invest your money the profit back to the inventory and also invest into the tool because at the beginning you have a seller app and keep it that's all you ever need if you get to be more advanced you need to be having a I person you Asian inside some people use other fancy tool it actually pull all the data into the one tool one place so you would be able to uh, know all the information is easier even when you do retail arbitrage it's a lot easier and because we're talking about lead so I think if you sign for one lead group for even hundred dollar two hundred dollar and they would give you maybe five six fifteen lead per day and in a month you get three hundred or something like that you realize that getting how other people see the market to see what are the category that potentially it could be profitable for example in 2023 I get into smartwatch selling in the past I never think about selling smartwatch I was thinking maybe a gated but it's not I think some of the market is actually better in America than, than, than in the Canada because if I never look at the other people sharing the idea I would never sell this it's always good idea to talk to different peer to see how do they get the idea from maybe the retail arbitrage on on arbitrage is a general term so retail arbitrage is easy enough you go to store the scan but you can do actually hybrid 
For example, which I learned a while ago in Canada, you have a website called Stock Track. It actually show you the discount on the store. For example, Walmart, Canadian Tire, Home Depot, show you what is the discount it's on right now and what kind of store have it. And maybe the store have a particular lower price or you can get the deal online. So you can combine your online information with retail per charge. Then if you know what some store have it, you can go pick it up and sell. So that is some of the leg work that people don't want to do and that would make you more money. Point number two, also the most important thing that you have to know as an Amazon seller, as a inventory business, which is you need to know how to manage your cash flow. What it's come down to is knowing how to balance your book. Like I know it's shocking, right? Because this wisdom have been passing down for a hundred or hundred of years. If you want to do your business, you have to know your book. I remember that when I read the story about Warren Buffett, he talked about what's the most important thing that he was doing when he was a teenager. He knows how to balance the book. He knows how much that he's making. He knows what the cash flow is because we're in the inventory business. But why borrow more money? We borrow money, we know that we can make our higher profit and we can turn around three, four times uh, in a year before we pay up five six percent of that interest rate or taxes and stuff like that so if you don't know if you're making money if you don't know how much wages you have we don't know how much profit that you have you don't know any of those because you are not balancing your book i understand that you could hire someone to do it but because it's like you're paying someone at the beginning you don't have a lot of money so you probably delay until the year end to do it then it's the wrong way to do it because you don't know how much you're making every month you don't know how much we investment you're making uh, back to the business you don't know should you hire someone do you know uh, the budget and stuff like that so i think it's uh, one of the most important thing is to balance your book if you don't know how to do it you can just let me know maybe i can share about this in this channel i just know the basic but i can teach you or i can show you some video and let me know in the comment below the last point that i want to make is that if you want to make it big or from the beginner to the bigger seller you need to get engaging and getting it means that Amazon need to know that you are a legitimate buyer. You know some of the legitimate source that you can sell on Amazon. They need to check the source that you have, right? For example, I just found out some of the auto and gate agent. What it means is that uh, when your account is good enough and maybe you sell at 10,000, 50,000 a month or something like that, they think you're good enough. They will let you uh, sell some of the product. If you click on the ASIN, they say when you gate it, when you click on it, will you say request to sell it? They would actually automatically engage because after you meet a certain criteria, because some of the brand is, is more lenient, they don't really care so much. And that's one of the things that I learned. I just Google a list of ASIN, auto ASIN website. Uh, you can click on the subscription and try your luck if you're gonna be able to get uh, auto ungated. So that's one of the thing I wanna do. Uh, want to say, and more, uh, if some of the brand like Nintendo, like a Nike, Adidas, and all those kind of bigger brand uh, like Lego, you, you need to have a specific website ungated. For example, Lego is the easiest and most talk about. The way is that go to lego.com, buy 10 of the items that you're gated on, and then you get an invoice and submit to Amazon when you request for uh, access. That's just uh, one of the ways that you can uh, do that. If you want to do a uh, popular brand, Nike, Adidas, under armor and all those stuff you probably want to do uh the foot locker foot locker is like uh, selling shoes is one of the popular way and um, if you want to do export you can go to export.com microsoft buy 10 of them so uh it's just like this i think knowing or and getting more more of the async is the forever game for the seller if you want to uh, expand your portfolio so i think it's the most important thing so here's the three points that you have to know to get more lead you get a finance together and then you have to have an async and last but not least is that you have to always work on your business you have to always have to look out for more lead and that's how you can do it but everything together it won't take a lot of time it's only about five to ten hours it depends on the money if you have a lot of money of course you can become a full-time job and you can do a lot more things because you have a lot more free time because inventory business you just let the inventory turn around so if you want to learn more subscribe and like this and share with your friend and if you want to join my journey to see how i do in the future because i definitely don't want to only stay on amazon i want to do more business so if you want to follow my business journey subscribe and like and share with your friend talk to you guys next time